Hi Lana, welcome on board to this Q and A session on the topic side slip. So, getting an outline of this session, we'll be getting to know about the question analysis, book reference, further proceeding to important concepts, formulae, and topic-wise solve questions. Now, switching on over to the blog containing Git Aerospace materials. So, hi, here I am on the Age of Aerospace blog and Git Aerospace tab. Now, scrolling down to the flight mechanics portion of this. So here we have our uh, materials regarding flight mechanics and uh, regarding the question analysis for the core topic basics here we can see that uh, from this particular topic side slip there were one one mark question asked in 2011 and there were two two mark questions which were asked in 2015 and 16. now uh, getting to know about the book reference we can read out the flight stability and uh, automatic control the second edition by uh, robert c nelson and this particular page numbers deals with the topic similarly for gaining a personal or uh, uh, better in uh, insight or perspective regarding this topic you can read out uh, the pilot's handbook of aeronautical knowledge the 2016 edition of it and the particular chapter 5 aerodynamics of flight deals with this so this provides a practical insight or knowledge about this uh, topic side slip and uh, important concepts there are uh, two major things which you need to be remembering about so it is the side slip angle and that is the positive and negative angle similarly the yawing moment positive and negative yawing moment so here we have uh, the side slip angle so when is it called positive side slip angle and when is it negative side slip angle so if the relative wind is coming from the left side of the nose then it is a negative side slip angle and if the relative wind is from the right side of the nose of aircraft then it is positive side slip angle so here we can see the difference similarly there is a different or uh, classification in uh, yawing moment so if the yawing moment is clockwise or uh, we can call it as right wing going back then it is positing, positive yawing moment or plus n and if the yawing moment is anti-clockwise if seen from above or uh, left wing going back then it is negative yawing moment or minus n so this thing we need to remember and uh, regarding the formula portion as discussed in the earlier Q&A session of uh, angle of attack it is derived from the basic uh, trigonometric equations from uh, this diagram it is evident that uh, the velocity distributions of velocity components of different uh, orientation so u v and w u for uh, x axis velocity of the aircraft v for lateral velocity or y axis velocity of the aircraft and w for z axis velocity of aircraft and uh, v is the resultant velocity which is uh, obtained from pythagoras theorem as u square plus v square plus w square the square root of it whole term now uh, when we are considering this uh, velocity resultant velocity vector it is uh, oriented in three dimensions so here when we are considering this from the top view you can see that there is some uh, deflection from the horizontal or uh, x axis velocity u and this resultant velocity so this deflection is known as a side slip angle so from this we can easily obtain the side slip angle by using trigonometric relation so here we have a beta so we can obtain we already have the value of this opposite side as v so this is same as v so we have an opposite value and we have the hypotenuse value or even uh, the adjacent value now if we use the sine theta formula that is opposite uh, by hypotenuse we can easily obtain the relation for side slip angle as uh, b small v by hypotenuse is this thing that is capital v so these both are magnitudes from this we can uh, easily see or relate the formula so here we can see beta by uh, taking out the sign to the right hand side of the equation it gets as a sign inverse of small v by capital V so this is basically based on the magnitude and we are going to be using this 
formula for solving questions. So it's high time, let's get solving. So here we have a first one mark question from uh, Gate 2011. Now reading out the question, uh, if an aircraft is performing positive yawing maneuver, the side slip angle will be. So they are basically asking what will be the side slip angle if we carry out a positive yawing maneuver. So as I uh, mentioned, positive yawing maneuver means right wing going back or clockwise from seen from the above or top. So if the right wing goes back, we can see the velocity vector isn't changing in respective to it so considering it is head on or in straight manner uh, as we have already uh, maneuvered to the positive yawing moment the aircraft will be tilting to right wing going back now the uh, as uh, for convention if the head wind or velocity is uh, from the left side of nose then it is a, a negative side slip angle so in this case, it must be negative side slip angle as the relative wind is from left side. So this we already discussed, positive yawing moment means right wing going back. So we have already maneuvered it. And if uh, the relative wind is from the right side, it is positive side slip angle. And as the relative wind is in, from left side of the nose, then it must be the negative side slip angle. Now seeing out the options is always zero. No, this is wrong as it is negative. And uh, the side slip angle is never zero. It is also wrong at, as it doesn't specifically mention it as negative. And uh, regarding option C is always negative. Yes, side slip angle is negative as the relative wind is from left of the nose. So this must be the right option. Option D could be any value is also not specific. So this is also wrong. Option C must be the right answer. Yes, as per answer key, option C is the right answer. Now getting to our second uh, uh, question. So this is a two mark question from Gate 2015. So the question reads out as an aircraft is flying with inertial ground and wind speeds. We have been provided with ground and wind speed. So this is the ground speed as 100 comma 5 comma 5 meter per second and uh, velocity of wind as uh, 0 comma minus 5 comma minus 10 respectively as expressed in the body frame so the corresponding side slip angle is so they are basically asking the side slip angle and they have provided us with the velocities u v and w so initially this question looks like a complex one but it is a very simple question considering uh, what is provided if we are getting to easily interpret the question. So they have provided inertial ground speed and wind speed. So talking about the ground speed, ground speed is a summation of uh, the algebraic sum of the aircraft's true speed and wind speed. What we basically require for our case is the velocity of aircraft or speed of aircraft. As I always say, the difference between speed and velocity is that speed is a scalar quantity and velocity is a vector quantity where uh, velocity has speed plus direction. So here, what we require is the aircraft's true speed. So for this, what we do is we uh, subtract the wind speed from the ground speed. So aircraft's true speed can be obtained as a subtraction of ground speed, wind speed from ground speed. So we have already obtained or uh, given the wind, uh, ground speed Vg. So this uh, arrow mark B is nothing but a vector. And here Uvw, we need the true speed, true air speed. So for this, we subtract the ground speed U value with U value. So this U value minus this U value. What we obtain is under minus zero. Similarly, this v value minus this v value. So phi minus of minus phi is plus phi, so phi plus phi. Similarly, this value minus this value, so phi minus of minus 10 is uh, plus 10, so phi plus 10. So we will be getting the aircraft's true airspeed as 100, 10, 15. Now we are good to go as we have attained the UVW values. From uh, this diagram and uh, relation, 
you can see that uh, this is the resultant velocity and uh, the side slope angle is the angle between this u and resultant velocity v so for uh, obtaining this particular side slope angle we can easily use the relation of sine the theta sine beta as we have the value of v so this is equal to the magnitude of small v and what we need to find is the capital v or resultant velocity so resultant velocity as already known is the square root of u square plus v square plus w square this is from Pythagoras theorem now uh, substituting in the values we have obtained the square root of u is 100 so similarly v small v is 10 square plus w is 15 so 15 square will be obtaining the value capital V as 101.612 meter per second. As I said from uh, trigonometric relation, so sine beta is nothing but opposite by hypotenuse. So here opposite side is small v and hypotenuse has the magnitude of capital V. So we have already found out the value of capital V. So substituting the values in this formula, you can write beta is equal to sine inverse of the sine theta is uh, taken to the right hand side which will get an inverse uh, so superscript so here sine inverse of small v is, has a value of 10 by capital v which we found out as uh, 101.612 so when we substitute this and calculate it by using the gate calculator that is uh, uh, the calculator virtual calculator which is used in gate exam uh, you can google it and uh, calculate get a good comfortable use with it so here the answer is 5.647 degrees so they have asked the answer in degrees so all this is okay but uh, uh, now checking out the options we have got the answer 5.647 the option which is close to it is option b as 5.65 so here we have rounded out the value as 5.65 option b must be the right answer now oh, let's check the answer this answer uh, b is the right answer so here we have a clear-cut uh, diagrammatic explanation of what we did see before so here are the velocity components u v and w u is the velocity in x direction small v is the velocity in lateral or uh, y direction or axis and uh, w is the velocity component at z axis now based on these three velocities uh, there is a resultant velocity v so this is a three dimensional oriented velocity uh, it has deflection in all the axis so here we can see it is diagonally connected in this whole uh, rectangle color cube so here we can see uh, from this we can easily obtain the deflection from uh, the top or the uh, upper axis so here we can see in the lateral plane the deflection from horizontal velocity in x-axis u and uh, the deflection in velocity vector as uh, side slope angle and similarly in longitudinal plane uh, we can see the deflection between the velocity vector and uh, u as uh, angle of attack alpha so this resultant velocity as uh, solved before is obtained from the Pythagoras theorem as square root of u square plus v square plus w square here is our third question so this is a two mark question from gate 2016 the question reads out as the aircraft velocity in meter per second components in body axis are given has uh, u in w 100 comma 10 comma 10 the air velocity in meter per second angle of attack and uh, side slip angle in that order are so they are basically provided as with uh, u e w that is velocity components and what they are asking is for single velocity or also known as the resultant velocity the angle of attack and the side slip angle now from this diagram itself it is uh, pretty evident that we have all the formulas required for solving this question so this is the 
resultant velocity vector capital V and the formula for it is square root of uh, u square by, uh, plus v square plus w square. This is a uh, formula for first one. And similarly, alpha uh, from trigonometric relations, we can obtain the side slip angle and angle of attack. Now uh, let's solve it by using this. So here we can see from the first formula for velocity resultant velocity vector, substituting in the values of u, v, w, uh, we can easily obtain the value as 100.995. Why we are taking decimal values? Because the answer is also considering decimal values and if we are not considering decimal values, then it may result in a wrong or erroneous uh, answer. So here we can see from this V value itself and they are uh, specific about the order also. So the velocity uh, we have obtained as 100.995. So uh, among these options, option C and D has 100.995 as the option. So option A and B must be wrong answers. So we have cancel out that. So answer must be either in one of these. Now uh, for uh, easily solving this question, you can either go with uh, finding next only uh, angle of attack or side slip angle and easily answer the question. Or you can uh, also find all of the values and then answer the question. Now, uh, second, they have asked us angle of attack. So, angle of attack can be found out from the trigonometric relations from the previous slide. So, here we have our angle of attack. So, from trigonometric relation, which uh, we can take tan alpha as opposite side by adjacent side, that is W by U. So, here we can uh, write as uh, by transferring the tan to the right hand side as tan inverse alpha is equal to tan inverse of w by u. So in this case we can obtain the uh, by substituting the values so alpha is equal to tan inverse of w we have already provided uh, as uh, 10 and uh, u is already provided as 10 100. So here alpha is equal to tan inverse of 10 by 100 this is 0 0.1 so tan inverse of 0 0.1 is 5.71 degrees which is obtained from the calculator so from this uh, the option d looks like a promising option uh, still for uh, tutorial purpose we can solve in the side slip angle 2 so here the side slip angle formula is also obtained from the trigonometric relation so here we can see the side slip angle as a variation between this horizontal velocity and uh, this velocity vector in the lateral axis. So this from the trigonometric relation can be obtained as sine theta that is opposite side by uh, hypotenuse. Opposite has a magnitude of small v and hypotenuse has a magnitude of capital V. So we have uh, the formula by transferring the sine to the right hand side beta is equal to sine inverse of uh, small v by capital V that is the resultant velocity which we obtained over here. Now substitute, substituting in the values small v we have already provided uh, the value as 10. So beta is equal to sine inverse of 10 by resultant velocity that is 101.995 which we calculated. Now, while substituting this value we will be obtaining the value of beta as 5.68 degrees. So capital V resultant velocity air velocity must be 100.995 so this is okay and uh, alpha angle of attack must be 5.71 this is also okay and 5.68 uh, for side slip angle so this is also satisfied so option d must be the right answer you can strike out option c now checking out the answer this option d is the right option and uh, we have successfully satisfied the answer that's it for this session Thank you. Let's crack gate aerospace.